gators. Uh, okay. So what happened was they went into the house. This but this person was a drug lord, and he had a whole bunch. He owned the whole block. It was only one house, and he had all the other houses. So what the guy did was he took the stairs out of out of uh, out of the house, and then he put a whole bunch of alligators, gators, whatever animals <sighs> in there. And so anybody who snitched or did anything at the time, they threw the body, they threw it in there because they found a whole bunch of bones. They found gators like from all, all the way over on the other houses because the gators, the uh, alligators and gators, they like to dig holes. So it sounds like you got a gator in your, in your back background there. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so what happened was the guy he was checking the, the rooms and he ran to the door and he swung the door open. He's holding on to the doorknob and there's a pit full of gators. If the cop didn't grab him, he would have went in there and became gator food. Wait, 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 wait. Where was this? This couldn't be in New Jersey. No, not in Jersey, in Philadelphia. In Kensington. There was gators in Philadelphia. No, people buy the gators, and they buy tigers and stuff like that, and they keep them as legal pets. I got you. Okay, uh, okay, Kansas okay. Kansas is a little crazy. That's like a different world down there. Some of them people, they take so much drugs, they look like they're possessed. Like, some oh, of the bodies, shit. like... Jeez. The... Yeah, you know, Kansas and Somerset is really bad, man. They have... Oh, it's just crazy down there. <laughs> I tell you, once uh, once you start going down that, that will change just about anybody that starts taking that kind of Medicaid... Or not Medicaid, drugs. That will change you straight up. Uh, I remember when uh, those bath salts came out. Was a, yeah. Holy cow. I was like, wait a minute. Bath salts? You we're talking the stuff that you take bath in? No, no, no. That's how they just sell it. Uh, I know sometimes people trip off the K2 and other stuff. Like the one time my son was out on, out on the steps. Yeah. And this guy, he was well, his body was just moving weird like, like the body, he to be honest with you, he looked like he was a dead, like a dead person. Mm-hmm. But his body was like possessed because he walked right by me. And as soon as he heard my son come outside, the guy completely turned around. Like I pushed my son back in the door, and I went in the house and shut my door because that guy wasn't moving right. He mm. didn't look right. He looked like he was evil. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I don't know what that, no, what is in that uh, street drug or whatever it is, but I have heard some horror stories with that stuff. And yeah, they do act like they are freaking zombies. Nothing, nothing short of uh, massive trauma can stop them. Oh yeah, down Kensington, they found farms like people had pet pigs, they had pet cows, goats, and abandoned houses. And so it, it, it's really crazy the stuff that they found. That guy is just lucky because his partner grabbed him in the nick of time before uh, whatever kind of gator or alligator, outer, whatever it was, mm-hmm. crocodile or alligator. They got lucky that they grabbed him at the nick of time because he could have got eaten. Yeah. Holy cow. So what? Yeah, because there's. How does how does uh, one keep a pet alligator crocodile? As an illegal pet, do you just you know, put it in an abandoned pool or uh, what? I know people buy them or they go. They, they before they used to have a store down years ago, like twenty to thirty years ago. Mm-hmm. Like thirty years ago, they used to have a store in Philly called Kelly's Corner. You used to be able to buy anything. You used to be able to buy tigers. You used to be able to buy any kind of legal pet that you weren't supposed to have. Until they start cracking down on it. They used to sell alligator snapping turtles. They used to sell everything. They used to sell, like, poisonous snakes. Uh, um, they used to sell everything in there. It was, like, a flea market store, and it had, like, all different stuff. Mm. And the one side was, like, a legal pet shop. No, people travel outside of the state to get these animals. Oh, and yeah. people bring them back in. So yeah, you know, I, I've, heard, I've heard of the legal pet trade for sure. You know, that's why they get to these uh, 20, 30, 40 feet or 40 foot uh, pythons down in Florida. 
Yeah, so and it, just it, bombing I think it's and releasing down here. Yeah, that is just crazy. 